Holding police officers accountable for misconduct is crucial for maintaining public trust, ensuring justice, and promoting effective law enforcement practices. Accountability mechanisms are usually categorized as internal or external, each playing a vital role in addressing misconduct. Here's an overview of these mechanisms. Internal mechanisms. Number one, internal affairs units. Most law enforcement agencies have an internal affairs division responsible for investigating allegations of officer misconduct. IA units assess complaints ranging from procedural violations to serious abuses of power. Number two, early intervention systems. These systems identify officers who exhibit patterns of risky behavior or receive multiple complaints. By tracking such patterns, departments can provide targeted training, counseling, or disciplinary actions to prevent future misconduct. Number three, performance evaluations. Regular evaluations of officers' performance can include assessments of adherence to ethical standards and proper conduct. Negative evaluations related to misconduct can lead to disciplinary actions and inform decisions about promotions and assignments. Number four, supervisory oversight. Frontline supervisors play a critical role in monitoring officer behavior, providing guidance, and taking immediate corrective action when necessary. Effective supervision is key to preventing misconduct and ensuring accountability. Number five, professional standards units. Some departments have dedicated units that focus on upholding professional standards within the force, including conducting audits and reviews of department policies and practices to prevent misconduct. External mechanisms. Number one, civilian review boards. These independent bodies are established to review complaints against police officers from members of the public. Civilian review boards can recommend actions ranging from further investigation to disciplinary measures, though their authority varies by jurisdiction. Number two, independent oversight agencies. Some cities or states have established independent agencies with the power to investigate police misconduct independently from police departments. These agencies may have subpoena power and the authority to recommend disciplinary actions or criminal charges. Number three, judicial system. The courts play a crucial role in upholding officer accountability, especially in cases where criminal charges are brought against an officer for misconduct. Civil lawsuits against officers and departments can also result in financial penalties and mandated reforms. Number four, public and media oversight. Public scrutiny and media coverage of police misconduct cases can exert pressure on law enforcement agencies to hold officers accountable and implement policy changes. Social media has amplified this effect by rapidly spreading awareness of incidents. Number five, legislative bodies. Local, state, and federal le legislative bodies can influence police accountability through oversight functions, investigations, and the enactment of laws that regulate policing practices, establish standards for accountability, and outline consequences for misconduct. Number six, federal intervention. In cases where there are systematic issues of misconduct, the Department of Justice can intervene through its Civil Rights Division to investigate law enforcement agencies and mandate reforms under consent decrees. For these mechanisms to be effective, they must operate transparently and with a genuine commitment for justice or to justice and reform. A combination of strong internal accountability measures and robust external oversight is essential for addressing police misconduct and building a culture of accountability within law enforcement agencies.